Hi friends, it's Hannah opening some mail way later than I should have. Um, I have my Young Living order from July, so that's what we're doing. But I am working on, for the weekends, doing some little extra things for myself. So I'm having some breakouts so I'm doing starting with the face mask um I think I normally walk like to the post office on Saturdays if I need to drop something off run by Starbucks whatever I think I'm gonna start walking the other way some there's a gas station like a mile and a half down the road there's a Publix about two miles very walkable there's a sidewalk the whole way it's mostly flat it's not a big deal but I'm like I could get myself a little snack and or like even lunch if I go all the way to Publix um and then that's a good three mile or four mile walk now that it's not so blazing hot out um because the doctor says she wants me to do a little more exercise but I'm really not feeling it not into it <laughs> um don't have as much energy as I used to for sure been very fatigued lately so I'm like I don't want to overdo it but the idea of treating myself when I get to the location helps um and just grabbing something from the gas station is going to be cheaper than going to Starbucks um and if I go all the way and get lunch, like, then I don't have to make lunch if I go to Publix. So, I don't know. Idea. And then I could get a, I could do a little bit of shopping. Um, I have, like, a cooler backpack that I got from FabFitFun. So, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Give me your ideas. Um, but, back to July. Back, back to July. Because I have lost my mind. Um got my Young Living order. There's just three things in it. Um, I got the Simplified by Jacob and Kate's at the summer one. They did not have it where I could add the box sets to my loyalty order. So I just added them all individually, which did end up costing me about $5 more in total, which is kind of annoying. But whatever I don't really need the box but it's more about just the fact that then I'm paying five dollars more because you wouldn't let me do something that's exactly the same product um but anyways the summer scents were tropical tango seaside and orange creamsicle um if you know you know my wedding cake was like orange cream <laughs> flavored and it tastes like a dreamsicle ice cream which would be orange um so I really did want this one and I mean tropical tango like we'll see um what are the oils in here these simplified blends I haven't actually looked at like what do they tell you on the label because all the other blends um tell you the individual oils on the label let's peel this back and see if it does um because obviously these are meant to be more like a traditional scent that you would get in a candle or a wax melt or whatever an essential oil at the store this is more for people that want those kind of scents that's what you're used to you don't necessarily want essential oils okay so it is on here okay so this one tropical tango says coconut oil okay orange peel ylang lang and spearmint just three that's interesting okay Formulated by the D. Gary Young Research Institute in association with Jacob and Caitlin Young. Okay. 
I haven't really done a lot of research into these because I do like my standard oils but obviously these are kind of to make it easy for people who maybe want to transition from using candles wax melts essential oils from the random grocery store um, into something that's more pure more natural but they don't know where to start so this is to make it easy but so this is what I got, it was a 100 PV order, um, and I'm pretty sure I got 10 additional loyalty rewards points for that. So, that is all. I won't go through the ins and outs of all of them. I'm not going to peel back all the labels, because now it looks janky. These are, like, really weirdly sticky. Um, they don't want you to peel back the labels, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that's what's going on with me. That was my order little teeny tiny but I'm also trying not to overdo it because I am trying to declutter everything so obviously my background looks exactly the same so you know that I haven't decluttered my desk to turn the other way yeah so that's still a work in progress my main issue with that is I will be cleaning up something and I'll be like, oh, these things need to go over here. But that area will not be decluttered yet. So I don't want to put them there because that area is not clean yet. So they end up on the desk, on the kitchen counter. And then they clutter up those areas while I'm like pending decluttering somewhere else. So that I can put whatever I decluttered from somewhere else where it goes. So, I don't know. Tips and tricks appreciated. I'm going to go wash this off. Now, it's pretty much mostly dry. I didn't want to do, like, my whole face. I just wanted to do some targeted areas because I don't want to dry out anything too much. My skin's been super weird. So, just wanted to target a few areas that kind of have some breakouts forming. Try to nip those in the bud. And then go from there. I'm going to get back to decluttering. Now this is one more thing that it can go away. Um, doesn't make a huge dent in things because it, it's a bag. It's really small. and But I can put these away really easily. And then go from there. We'll see. Okay, we'll get there one day. It is what it is. Bye.